What's up guys, it's Nick here from Team Aquascape and today I am taking over clean out. We are going non-stop 100 miles an hour. The way that we get through this is we have this step-by-step -step process and we follow that step-by-step -step process every job to the T and it keeps us profitable and efficient and I'm going to take you through those steps right now. It's residential clean outs 101. Boom! Got to our job beautiful property the pond is even more beautiful so the first step in the clean up is obviously go knock on the door introduce yourself after that it's gonna be getting the tank set up getting the pumps in the pond as fast as possible so we can get this thing draining down we're saving as much of this water as we can for either rinsing or we're gonna use it to put back in with the fish so they can kind of reacclimate to some new water a little bit easier Now that we got the pond draining, we're gonna try and knock out all those things that we can while the water's going down and we can't really get in there and do much. Part of that is taking out the filter mats and the biofalls, the biological filtration and the bio balls, and then the skimmer. Like we, we gotta take the filter mats out, we gotta take the basket out, take the pump out. If the pump's in there, if it's not, then we gotta make sure everything's cleaned out so we can put the pump back in. Juan is over here, he's kind of disassembling the skimmer. As that pond's draining down, you can see the skimmer basket right there. Getting that stuff out. Then the filter mats in there as well. Nice and dirty. What do you think? A lot of fish? Yep. And then this one was winter running, so we're just pulling that pump out. We'll get it all cleaned off. This gentleman brings out this tractor for us to use every year. I would love to have a tractor like that. So Stephanie, my soon to be wife, if you get the hint for a wedding. So the next step, while the pond is pretty much drained, we gotta go through and start picking out all the debris. Juan is already on this. He's a machine, a debris picking machine. La Machina. He's just going through and picking all those leaf debris, any sticks, twigs, anything that we can get out by hand before we start pressure washing is gonna save us a lot of time in the long run. You can see in the downtime, we already got the pressure washer hooked up. The only thing we're waiting on is the hose, but we'll get that all set up when we're ready. It's little things like that that keep us efficient and profitable while we have downtime when this pond is draining. So you can see right here, Matt's kind of got this pre-rinse going on. We're picking out all the debris by hand, but when you can get water in here before you power wash, we effectively get a lot of that stuff out before having to come back for the final rinse. Once the pond reaches about 12 or 14 inches of water left, that's when we go in for the fish. The reason we do it then is because they're much easier to catch, obviously. We're not having to chase them all over the pond. Another one of those little key things that we do right at the beginning is we plug the lights in. That way, as we're moving through the feature, we're checking all the lights as we go down. Same thing with pumps. We always plug in the pumps before those go back in. Saves us time in the long run. We've done it before where pumps get installed and then they don't work and then we're losing time on taking the pump back out, troubleshooting it, and trying to figure out what's wrong with it and then putting it back in. So we're trying to avoid as much double work as possible. Once we get those biofall mats pulled out, we gotta rinse them, clean them. We try not to use the power washer on them because it just kinda can destroy them and shorten the life of them. So what we do is we use the pumps that are pumping out the pond and we use that water, it's a more low pressure, to rinse off the biofall mats. And it just is another step in the process that makes things a little bit more streamlined, 
a little bit more efficient and saves us time over the course of the day. We've got enough of the debris picked out, all the water is kind of pre-rinsed, all the rocks kind of pre-rinsed. Fire up the power washer, get going on it. And by the time he gets about halfway through this thing, we'll have a guy up top rinsing already. So now we got the power washing going. We got Matt over here, he's floating. Kind of making sure all the pumps are staying clean. Still picking out the debris as we're kind of going down the stream. Juan is just going to town over here. By the time that Juan gets somewhere over here, myself or Matt, I'm gonna hop back up top here. You see Juan's already got the hose in here to start rinsing down. Start rinsing all this down right into this pump here. We'll move this pump down pool by pool by pool so that we can keep all the dirty water contained and keep all this clean water that we're gonna rinse with keep it moving downstream. What do you guys think of the pond? <laughs> All right guys, so now we're at the point where we can start rinsing this stream down. Juan has already made it past like the halfway point, so I actually have some catching up to do. I'm gonna start rinsing from the top. As I'm going, I'll be doing stuff like putting the biofalls mats back in, reassembling that whole setup, checking all the lights again as we're moving downstream, covering the liner any places that I can where we have bare spots or fixing edge treatments. All that stuff I'm doing as I'm working my way down so we don't have to come back up and redo stuff. Everything that we do from the top down as as we're going down, I want 100% finish. We're gonna start rinsing and catch up with it in a little bit. So Matt and I got the first pool pretty much rinsed down, perfectly clear, like this is what we wanna see. It. There is water in there if you can believe. Look at how clean that rock and gravel is. And then that perfectly crystal clear water right on top. That's what we're looking for at the end of a clean out for everything that we do. So now we're gonna take these pumps, we're gonna move them down to the next pool so we're not spoiling any of the water that we just put in. And we'll just keep moving down, moving down, moving down. Most important part about clean outs, music. <laughs> See Josh over there putting back the skimmer together. Juan down in to the bottom, kind of getting everything rinsed. Got hoses all over the place, but you guys can just absolutely see how perfectly clear this thing is gonna turn out. All right guys, so we're basically done rinsing now. We are 99% of the way through this clean out. Those guys are finishing up the rinsing. You see behind me, the pond is actually already filling up. Basically all it's left to do is fill the pond up, put the fish in, clean everything up, load our trucks up, talk to the customer, and we're basically out of here. It's super smooth when you have guys that are experienced and that can just breeze through this and still do a quality job, make sure everything's done right. So you can see behind me, we got the water going back in for the pond. That was water that was previously in there. That's water that we took out, saved, tried to keep it as clean as possible. That's gonna allow for the fish to kind of reacclimate a lot easier. It'll be a lot less stressful on them. Plus it gets the pond filled a lot faster. 
We can turn that waterfall back on. We're not having to wait around. And what Josh and Juan just did was they were installing the pumps. They were checking the ion gen probe. They were checking the automatic dosing system and installing that, making sure that all works properly. And that's gonna keep this pond looking fresh all year long. The water clarity, quality is gonna be on point. All right, so now that the pond is pretty much done, getting filled up, we always talk to the customer and ask them what they think. What do you guys think? Well guys, we are all wrapped up here. The fish are back in. We've detoxed the water. We're adding fresh water up top. Everything came together. This pond is beautiful. Always cool to get to see these different features on a daily basis when we're in clean out season. I hope, I hope that I did a good job explaining our step-by-step -step process for doing clean outs. I know it's a lot, but you can watch this video as many times as you need to to help learn this process. We do this every day. We know you guys do it every day or wanting to get into it. The best part about this process is it is replicatable. So you guys get out there, use it to train your people. As always, please like, subscribe, share these videos, guys. If you have any more questions, leave a comment below. We will catch you on the next one.